So I took a screenshot of one of these complex workflows that I had built from one of my previous videos. And I literally put it inside this NADN builder and Claude that I created. And I said, create the exact workflow. And after like literally a minute, it generated the workflow code. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to bring it over to my NADN and see if this thing is any good. I paste it. All right, let's see. Wow, that's not going to lie. That is pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of these because this generate video with runway ML is a pretty complex HTTP request mode. Wow, this is crazy. The fact that it generated the JSON body, the code, the URL is exactly correct. Wow, that's amazing. And the same thing with Love and Labs. Let's see. Let's take a look. Yep, that's pretty accurate. And then it provided the headers, the JSON body. I mean, this is crazy. Wow. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the generate image with OpenAI. Yup, that URL is pretty accurate. I mean, the fact that this did this just from a screenshot is pretty wild. I'm not going to lie. I mean, even like the size, they got it accurate, the quality, even the model. Again, this is mind blowing how amazing Cloud4 is. Um, so let's see, let's take a look at the video here. Get video runway ML. Yup, that is pretty accurate. <laughs> Uh, obviously, this is not, you know, if you click on test workflow, this is not going to work, but it just shows you that you don't have to start from scratch anymore. I mean, the fact that this created all of this with really accurate uh, URLs and the JSON and everything just from a screenshot. Again, I literally, said, I literally just said, create the exact same workflow as the attached. I want, to, I want the function and the nodes to be similar. I didn't even give it a good prompt because I was just trying to test out to see if this thing is going to be this thing is going to either work or this thing is going to work or not. Right. And it just went ahead and created everything. And it even told me the configuration step, replace your API keys and the HTTP request nodes. And it gave me the example usage and it just generated the NADN workflow JSON code where like you just saw, I literally had to copy it and paste it here. This is incredible. So, I mean, this really changes the way moving forward that we will interact with everything. So what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this NADN builder inside Claude. Uh, and then I'm going to give you all of the prompts and then also the data that I trained this NADN builder. So I trained it on a bunch of um, already JSON files and from my NADN library that I handpicked. So I'm going to give you all of this for free. So stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So that way you can create this on your own side. And essentially all you have to do is just literally type and tell it what to build and it will give you a great starting point, right? Because like I said, just because this is creating this, it doesn't mean this is going to be ready for you to deploy. Um, but this will give you a great starting point. I mean, this will save you hours, if not like days sometimes, right? Because sometimes some of these workflows that I've built takes a long time. So the fact that you can get a good starting point and then all you have to do is just basically tweak a few things. It's amazing. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to, again, show you um, all of this step by step. But just so you know, everything will be free. I'll, I'll give you all the free resources. I'll show you exactly where it is. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that first, actually. So all of the prompts, uh, all of the prompts and uh, this library that I showed here, all of this, a lot. Of, I, I, I will <clears throat> put a bunch of these. Uh, files to train this NADN builder. It's going to be inside the light community. I'm going to put the link in the description. Go ahead inside this uh, classroom section and the YouTube resources, you'll be able to find that. And then obviously, if you're looking to go beyond just learning, I recently launched a uh, AI agency course where it's literally a day to day accountability program from day one to all the way. It's like a four or five week program. On top of that, we give you all of the details and everything that we use in our AI workshop, AI agency, like how to price your projects, how to move from, uh, you know, learning NADN into earning money with it and becoming a consultant. Like I said, I start you from choosing your niche to choosing your business name, setting up your domain, your email, how to approach clients, how to run discovery calls, right? How to interact with clients, um, how to uh, set up and um, execute on different tasks in order for you to start making money. So make sure you check that out. The link in this is also going to be in the description. And then of course, if the, the way our paid community works is that we start you off with an absolute beginner's guide into NADN because the goal of AI Workshop paid community is to get you started 
with learning in it. And even if you have zero background, you've never built any AI automations at all. And then from there, we'll move you to a day-to-day -day accountability program to make sure we have you set up so you can start becoming a consultant for businesses and start making money with NNN. So make sure you check out the link in the description. Hopefully I'll see you on the inside. But again, uh, for this particular video, all the resources will be in the free community. It's called the AI Workshop Lite. Uh, check out the link in the description. You can join there for free. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to go to Claude. So obviously, Claude recently released um, uh, Sonnet 4 and Opus 4. Opus 4 is probably the most complex or the better model, especially when, you, when you're building uh, your kind of uh, workflow builder. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to Claude.ai. Obviously, you have to have a paid subscription. So once you have your paid plan set up, all you have to do is come right here. This will be your, your uh, page right there, the landing page. On the left-hand side right here, as you can see, it says projects. You're going to click on projects here. And this is where either you'll, you know, obviously yours is going to look blank. So you're going to click on new project here. And we're going to name this NADN uh, Builder, let's say. NADN JSON Builder, let's say, right? Or whatever you want to describe, whatever. So the description, this is not that important, but it's always good to have a description. So I'm just going to say... Um, build NADN JSON workflow files or whatever. There you go. So you're going to click on create project. Once you create the project, then what you're going to do on the right hand side, this is where you have the ability to provide special instructions for this project. Or again, if you have used uh, chat GPT, this is equivalent of a custom GPT, right? So what you're going to do is just set up your instructions here. So I'm going to go ahead and just literally copy and paste the instructions. Again, you have access to this inside the free community. So don't worry about it. All you have to do is just follow this, go inside the light community, grab this uh, um, prompt here, and then you can paste this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So I just said you're a professional NADN workflow generator. Your job is to help the user build ready to upload JSON workflows that work directly in NADN. These workflows should automate real world tasks based on what the user describes. You must first understand basically, then build the complete JSON workflow. So all of this, and I'm also giving it a few sample prompts so that way it understands exactly how to take the user's prompt and then how to respond. So feel free to change this, you know, for your particular use case. I mean, if you want to use some other system, um, if you are using it for a specific task, then uh, play around with the, with the system prompt here. Um, and then you can <clears throat> essentially generate it to your own specific needs. So once you add your prompt, and again, you can just use this prompt as a template and use a ChatGPT or Claude itself to come up with another prompt. Uh, and you can play around by, by adding additional parameters or additional prompt examples in there. All right, so once you do that, afterwards, we're just going to click on the plus button here. So here's where we will be adding a bunch of stuff here. So we can um, add stuff from the Google Drive. What I did was I actually, so let me open up here. So these are all of the, this is the NADN template library. These are handpicked. There's over 200 um, NADN JSON files here that's for, for different purposes. So depending on what your needs are, what you're building. So I would suggest really going through and figuring out. And again, you'll have access to a bunch of these inside the Lite community to JSON files so that we can just add it there. Um, and then depending on what you're building for a specific niche, I would suggest adding spe specific examples of just already built JSON workflows. And this is a lot of this is taken from the NADN library and a bunch of it is also like created that we have done <clears throat> on our side as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few in here. And then, like I said, depending on what your use cases or what you're building this for, you can um, add your own JSON files there. So let's go ahead and let this finish. And this will show you the capacity that it has. So it will tell you like 50% used or 90% used. Uh, you know, you don't have to fill, you don't have to put everything in here. You don't have to fill it to the capacity, depending on what your use case is. If you're building for something particular, then go ahead and add those project resources or project files. And on the prompt itself, we have told it to use the project knowledge as a source of information. So that way, when you're retrieving or when you're recreating these JSON builders, you're able to provide um, the accurate information. Okay, so that's all you need. Essentially, just project knowledge source, which is going to be all JSON files from NADN. And just to double check so that you know exactly in here. So as you can see, this one is, for example, automating general contents. If you see, this is an actual JSON file um, from 
uh, and it end there. So go ahead and add that. And now you can essentially have an interaction with this and literally tell it to build me something. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just put a very simple front prompt. So I'm just going to say, build an NADN workflow that takes form submissions from Webflow and sends the data to Google Sheets and Slack. Let's just see what it does, right? So you can select the uh, Sonnet 4, or if you want to build something complex, uh, select Opus 4, because that's way better as far as because uh, it's a way par uh, it's a powerful model it's a larger model so you want to make sure that you're using um you know the proper model if the, the sonnet doesn't work so you see the great thing is now it's asking you questions specific questions and telling you hey what fields do you want the contain name email um and because you're not just using this to build a random workflow in order for for, for it to generate a really good json workflow if it doesn't understand exactly what you're looking for or if you're putting a prompt that's incomplete in this case it will go ahead and ask you clarifying questions and that's based on uh, the project instruction that we gave it right so that's why like i said this is such a powerful way to get started it just gives you that ability uh, to to generate really specific tasks or very unique workflows json workflows that will be for your own purpose that will be for your own niche right there so let me go ahead i'm just going to say just create a sample one and use best assumptions All right i'm just going to have it create or use its own assumptions and then that way i don't have to type everything else uh, but when you're building it yourself obviously make sure that you're uh, answering the questions that Claude is going to ask you. So there you go. Now it's generating uh, the JSON file. As you can see, it's pretty quick. If you use the Opus 4, it is a little slower, but it is a lot better, especially when it comes to building the more complex workflows, right? So we're going to test that out. And then also we're going to go ahead and give it a screenshot as well to see if this one works. So let's go ahead and let this finish. Okay, there you go. So it looks like it got finished. It's just giving you now the workflow summary and what it's going to do in the setup requirements. It's been telling you now to replace your Google Sheet ID and then update the form submission to Slack and everything else. So let's go ahead and copy this and see if this thing did anything good. I mean, this might be not as great because of just how simple it was, but I'm going to paste this. Awesome. Look at this. This is crazy. It even generated these nice little sticky notes, right? I mean, that's that's incredible. The fact that it just generated this just from one simple prompt and I was I didn't even answer it things. Right. So there you go. So you have a Webflow form hook. Right. So this is the submission that's coming in from a Webflow. So the reason why it gave us a web hook is because uh, Webflow, Webflow is not I don't believe it's a native integration. So that's why it's using a web hook and it's going to format the data. As you can see, it created everything for you like, like this is crazy. Seriously. I'm impressed how amazing this is. So then it sends, adds that to the Google Sheet. It even created all of the values here. And it also sends you a Slack notification and then sends the success back to your Webflow. Again, this is wild that you're capable of doing these things now. Obviously, this is a very simple workflow, but uh, just like we teach on our business course here, majority of your workflows for production for clients, uh, and obviously in our AI agency, majority of the workflows that we build are not fancy AI agents. They are very simple workflows. I mean, of course, we build a lot of complicated ones too, but these are the ones that sell a lot quicker, right? Especially if you're working with your businesses, if you're working with small businesses to medium-sized businesses, a lot of times they want something very simple and it doesn't need to have anything AI related most of the time, right? You just want to have the step-by-step -step and gather exact information. So that's why this becomes such a useful thing now, because this gives you that really good starting point. So when you have an interaction with the client, you put together the list of kind of like the, the wireframe. And then all you have to do is now literally copy paste it here. And then this will give you a good starting point. And you can always go and keep going back and forth with it, right? And the reason why I gave it that, that instruction to make sure it clarifies and asks you follow-up questions is for that particular reason, right? Especially when you're building something for clients, when you put like a simple flow like this, build an NADN workflow that takes form submission to Webflow and sends data to Google Sheets and Slack. If it doesn't understand exactly what you're asking for, it will ask you follow-up questions and that's what it will open up your mind to uh, really interact with it. So that way it gives you a really accurate, um, accurate uh, workflow there. So again, go ahead and play around with this. I mean, you can try the screenshots. So just like I did earlier, 
again, so go ahead and play around with this. This is an incredible resource. The fact that we're getting to a place where now, you know, you don't have to create this step by step and one by one. Um, it's amazing, right? So this just leapfrogs how fast you can learn any of them. But obviously, you know, if you're building like really complex workflows from scratch, I think that always helps you, especially to learn, you know, that's the still the best way to do that. But if you're building something for clients, just like we teach here, like I said, if you're building this for clients and you just want to get going, this is a great starting point. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. Again, all of these resources will be free for you to use. Uh, check out the link in the description. And of course, if you want to go from earn learning to earning, make sure you check out the paid community. I'm also going to put that link for the paid community in the description. Hopefully I'll see you inside. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.